We're coming to you live from Don't Ever Bank Here Field in Croxham Skull, Florida. It's over 110 degrees outside. Man, is it hot. The only difference between this place and an oven is that ovens don't produce serial killers. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Nashville Lycans take on the Croxham Skull Jugulars. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open to myself at the mutant bloodmobile parked next to the taco truck outside. Called the lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. <laughs> and he just wrestles away from that tackle. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey. Didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Don't you just love the sound of bone snap? Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey. Maybe you need a better opening lineman. You want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message without him. Yeah, the message was he can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh, going in circles. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected. Pretty much just gimmies. 
When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, look at this guy break. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Oh, man, he re- Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. It's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And neither could his mother. <laughs> Third down and eight. Quarterback, you have to take risks and just chuck the ball sometimes. But it's oh, he got mugged. It's more like a mafia hit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Grim, I just dash. On it. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this up, Grim.
And it's first and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. He's at the ten. They might catch him. Oh, you fat little mutant. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. They pick up of about three on that play. Second down and seven. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and... Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And it's first and ten. That's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. Third down and nine. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The ten! Holy mother of mutant mayhem! He scored! running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. 
And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And that'll be second down and four. And he finds him. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. He used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf on Scrim. He damn near clawed my face off. Oh, that was before the class even started. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. Now, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. <laughs> Second down and ten. It's three yards on that run. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And the QB might as well just bury himself in. Nil down about if that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And the offense, oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. lost another running back and only to remain on their roster when a team loses all their running backs they lose their ability to run the ball yeah like if i rip out your tongue you won't be able to speak tell us something we don't know genius and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt his knitting is superb grim that cross stitching unbelievable Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Put returners in this. Oh, he just got crushed. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Second down and more. And the defense jumps outside. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. I don't know which are you. <laughs> Second and three. <laughs> He could go all the way. He's at the 20. And he held on to that one for a first down. Oh, my God. A man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is.
First and two. Second down in a very lot. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. Boom, and he's dead. just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. And if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He can have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. First and ten. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. And it's first and ten. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. No! Grim. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And the quarterback throws it out! What is this, 80s wrestling? <laughs> the offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. And it's first and ten. <laughs> now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. <laughs> lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know 
which team he's on. I don't even know what. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Almost intercepted. Second down and ten. And the defense gets it. Man, rough day. He won't be waking up anytime soon. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in a quarterback. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Yeah, same as Britt's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have it intercepted, though. He broke free and has open field in front of him. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a sawbuck riding on this asshole. The 30. The 20. He's at the 10. He intercepted the QB's pass and returns it for a touchdown. That's not just salt in the moon. That's peeing in the answers and the smoldering remains. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Roundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to start as the teams take the field. This game has been one lopsided route. Yeah, football games are kind of like boobs. Big or small, they're both great. Except for when they're lopsided. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. was an all-pro NFL hit. I don't know if he even had a target on that throw. Second down and ten. Third down, and the punter is warming up. You can't keep a good... His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And he 
and reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they... Huh, I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, friend. And it's first and goal. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky find his head. He'll be okay. away oh nice hit that's the way you do it let him have it and then take it away second down and ten i don't know whose eyes the qb is using but can oh and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> He's at the 30. He's at the... And the defense is on his heels. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, 
They lose the game. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. First down. He was knocking. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. Who did we get out of And it's first and ten. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The ten. Touchdown! quarterback lucky for them they're on defense now or the game would be over uh, so all the other team has to do is pop the force of forfeit that would be correct bricks well a little chip shot here extra point but this guy could blow it the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just and the cracks and skull jugulars decimate the opposition today win by forfeit they come up big today with a solid win and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home i heard wounds taste just like chicken i was it scrambles tomato soup i forget but a good scab tastes like bacon that i know mm -mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich sounds like a picnic and the mvp is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...